Hey guys, welcome to my house, I'm Jack. I'm Sebastian. And today we're gonna be hooking up my satellite speakers and subwoofer to my surround sound system. So the problem that I'm running into in my living room is unattractive wires. My TV is on one side of the room, but my satellite speakers and subwoofers need to go on the other side of the room where the couch is. And so I could I could uh, run really long wires along the ground where people could trip on them, but that's not what we do in my house. We do it the sexy way. So I decided that I'm going to drill holes behind the TV in the floor and holes behind my couch in the floor, go downstairs in my crawl space and run the wires underground, down underground, and up through the other side of the room. A couple things I could run into. I could run into pipes, I could run into electricity and electrocute myself. This, this is the spot behind my couch. I wanna find a good spot to drill a hole and uh, run my wires down through right here. So this is the Wallabot. The Wallabot, uh, usually you would use it on drywall and concrete in your walls to, to find studs, uh, pipes, electrical wires, metal, different things like that. Um, I decided it would be fun to really push the limits of it and see if I can actually see through my floor with it. So the first thing you do is calibrate it. And you just run in a, a circle wherever you're trying to see through. And here it's getting to know the area. It's getting to know what materials it's going to run into, how reflective these different things are. Um, I think the most helpful option for this one is going to be our extra mode. I just found a stud. So um, you can see on the app, it brings up these little red blobs and this kind of becomes your eyes through the floor. And I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna run into a stud. So there you go, folks. The Wallabot Push to the limit. has helped me identify a safe route to get down to the basement. So I'm just gonna do this on the other side of the room behind the TV and uh, we'll have our two holes marked and uh, start running our speaker wire through. I'm gonna have Sebastian run downstairs and uh, tell me when he sees it poking through the plastic. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, here it comes. There oh. it is. It's coming through. We've made contact. We did it. Now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side of the room. You see that, Sebastian? Yes, I do. All right, that means we're good to go. I'm gonna start running wires. Okay, I'm making my descent. All right, pull them on through. Okay, stop. Oh, beautiful. You see the subwoofer? I got him. All right, pull it on through. The hardest part of the battle is done. We don't have any cables in the living room. Um, we've got everything running underground. And so the other interesting, interesting thing about my crawl space is now you can see the insulation situation down here. I can't even see the I can't even see the studs clearly on this end. And the easier option was to was to come at it from upstairs. The Wallabot kept me clean, kept me safe, and uh, made this job a lot easier. And so uh, there we are. We're done. We got the surround sound hooked up. We got the living room put back together. And as you can see, there are no cables or wires anywhere. Just beautiful surround sound. Let's give it a listen. And I do need to mention that we couldn't have done it without the help of the Wallabot. It helped us stay safe. Did we run into any pipes? Nope. Did we run into any wires? Nope. Did we get lost in the wooden studs? Nope. No, we got those cables right where we needed to be. And if you want for the Wallabot, you can get this uh, cool little case too to carry it in. So we'll have a link in the bottom of the video to where you can buy your own Wallabot. And we'll also link you to some other videos uh, and other fun DIY projects that use the Wallabot. You can learn more about it. Um, so we did it. Thanks, Sebastian. Thanks, Jack.